basically every step of the way, there was somebody on the design team that was like, no, this is a stupid idea. Preparation complete. Oh, fuck, it's gamma time. Gamma time! Excellent! Full systems, full power! I'm gonna go to the bathroom again. Go beat up your brother. Okay. Look at me. I'm your brilliant creator, Dr. Robotnik. You're the second of my E100 model machines. Do do E102. Codename Gamma. Like Gamma. Gamma. Gamma's story is the best story that Sonic Team has That's ever right. told. You will now Easy. Obey only me. Gamma is a big reason that this is my favorite, like... Uh, this is... Okay, Gamma's a big reason that I excuse a lot of the flaws in Sonic Adventure. Because, like... The writing in this game is surprisingly good on a big level. Like, the voice direction's not great, but... Enter Gamma! You're not as advanced as Beta is, but you'll do fine. Destroy the Sonic Tire. Destroy the targets and you'll get extra time. Complete. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Sinister Dean Price Town noises. <laughs> I don't know if the mic picked that up, but Cappy just laughed from the bathroom. Oh, wow, that laser sounds like way more bearable. Okay, bye. These bosses are Mission fucking complete. joke. That took me six seconds. Oh, you surprised me, Gamma. I had a funny feeling there was more to you than meets the eye. I hereby grant Gamma permission to serve on board the Egg Carrier. What? So you want to come along with us, eh? Okay, okay. We can always use a spare set of parts, I guess. You have special permission. I really love the uh, E100 series robots. I wish that they made a return. Like, 
as much as I adore the egg ponds and their design, what they represent, like the e the E one hundred series is it's just really good designs. They make a good like foot soldier to complement the badnecks, you know. Welcome back. The elite egg carrier crew are here so, today. I was thinking about something. Uh, here are very so Sonic X did like Sonic X Behold, versions of some of the very games. Uh, and this frog is thinking about Game of Story right. reminded me that it is like way messed up. I command you. Do yeah, you in Sonic X's version. You hear me? It's really dark. It it. Just bring it to me. We haven't got like this story is already sad in like the game's context, but it it it's hard. Like Gamma Story in Sonic X, Shadow SA2 in Sonic X, and like all of the shadow stuff in the Metarex arc. Whew. Whew. Uh, they don't devote as much time to it in Sonic X as they kind of do in the game, which makes sense, but like, hearing everything kind of like, just flowing a little more directly and like acted way better it's oh. I think Eggman also has a little bit more meat to him in Gamma's story which absolutely is helped by the fact that like Mike Pollock is an amazing actor this is such a good first stage for Gamma so pretty. Frog capture complete. Frog capture complete. Goodbye, penguin. Hey, can I say, can I say real quick, all the animals in Sonic Adventure are way cuter than like the animals in SA2. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, Sonic Adventure doesn't have the raccoon, and I love the raccoon, but also the mole is cute, the koalas are cute, the, the pangs are cute, the seals are real cute. Accessing data. No data found. Location unknown. This presents a problem. <laughs> this presents a problem. I mentioned it before uh, in, in a group chat, but like, I think the wonky direction really pays off for Gamma. Cause like, he, 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 This cutscene. <laughs> I tried so hard not to I'm laugh. Sorry. I see you must not be one of them, huh? I love this look to call gives Gamma. I know that look. <laughs> okay, this look is one of the only things I like about to call. <laughs> look, 
He's a very I, I, I am a weak pan. That look is what sold me on These Takal. Uh, honest, honestly, I can buy that. This protection allows them to continue seeing in peace. I mean, even I was not gonna lie. I, I won't beat around the bush. <laughs> now my father is trying to take. Uh, I really home. like her relationship with Chaos. Uh, I, I, I think, like, Mobius Unleashed had, had the right angle to go with that. that wow. Alright, we, we make a lot of sex jokes on this stream, but, like... <laughs> uh, also, I agree. I knew you would agree. That's why I was like, huh, I wonder what Lexi sees this in this character. No, here's a real one. Uh, chaos, the most of the time. The right one. <laughs> Funky ass frogs. They're really good. Ah, dummies, 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 dummies! None of them. Baka, 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 We must find the frog with chaos's tail. That same frog has also swallowed. A it's chaos my pleasure. Frog. Prepare to die. <laughs> ah. ah, there it is. Right there! I'm proud of you, Gamma. I knew you'd be of use to me. <laughs> All you worthless hunks of junk, be gone! Ah, uh, this is so fucked up, though. Like, they fail Eggman once, and they're basically just you like will get the new assignment. killed and then easy. reborn. I, I like how that lends context to why Eggman doesn't care that Sonic smashes up, like, hordes of badniks every game. He just doesn't care about his robots. Just get me that bird! Now, go! Like... I kind of get why for a lot of the time, but, like... Is this the one? I feel drawing attention to it and making it kind of explicit is like kind kind of fucked up from Sonic Adventure. I love the rotating platform fucks him up enough that he goes to the wrong door. Remember when a child died in Sonic X? Sure fucking do. What? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, also, uh, not gonna lie, Beta. Uh, Beta 2's design is the fucking coolest. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fucking... Remember when Eggman said what everyone was thinking in Japanese Sonic X? Uh, oh yeah, Rouge, you have large breasts. This is the wrong room. Yep. <laughs> this is the wrong room. You don't fucking say. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what else was really good about Sonic X? Uh, not uh everything with Rouge and Topaz. Uh, yeah. Uh, that one time where Sonic and Shadow kicked each other's feet? Yeah. Uh, Cream was in it. Uh, I hear away. Amy's really good in Sonic X. You know, I, I kind of ragged on Amy earlier, but I really like Amy in Sonic X, actually. No she, she's uh, really fun, she's really funny. She actually has a character. There's that one episode where they remake the episode from AOSTH where they're all trapped on a boat. Uh, I really like the uh, post-SA2 
art where Eggman's like, yeah, I'll fix the moon for you, but it was actually like another Eggman plot that was like a two-parter episode. I bet you'd be mean to him, you bully. You bully. Why not help us out instead? These scenes are really different between characters. I know. I never really noticed. Why but... try to save that which is useless to you? Huh. It, if you play them back to back, it's a lot more noticeable. Yeah. I feel sorry for you. Eggman failed to give you feelings. Wait a minute, Birdie. This moment like in context because Gamma's question why do you help why are you helping what is useless to you, you in Amy's story just makes it sound like he's like that bird's just uh, like something here. to be used why are you helping it but Hurry, in the context like of Gamma's story he just saw his brother being disassembled and put back together because he wasn't of use to Eggman. He saw Eggman throw out three of his other siblings like garbage because they weren't of any use to him. But Amy's taking care of this bird that she doesn't have anything to do with. Like, there's no reason for her to help this bird, but she is. And that's when Gamma realizes that Eggman's not a good person and he shouldn't be helping him. Okay, Amy's a good character. <laughs> yep. One, two, three. Gamma, get ready for battle instruction. Oh my god. Get the jet booster from the ammunition. Uh, get the uh, emotion. Uh, hi, Key. Once again, Gamma's story is the best story that Sonic Team has ever told. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, not true. The Samba Day Amigo story is Sonic Team. <laughs> you gotta get that booster. Oh, fuck. Sorry to drop that on you. <laughs> Emotion. Here's the jet booster. Press and. Hey. Fucking love floaty objects. I I love how this gives him a boost despite the fact that it is not attached to his body in any way. It should just like fly off into the sunset whenever it's activated. What the fuck is this? I've never been there before. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. I see you've got the jet booster. Report to the rear of the ship! Hurry! <laughs> Anything that's like a floating object, I'm just like, hey, good character design. Eyebrows, jet boosters, Wes guns. Wes Weasley's stupid little hat. Wes Weasley's stupid hat. Uh, naked Jehuti's fucking vector traps. All great character design. How can I serve what are the moral the implications of an organic being falling in love with a robot? Uh, metal penis. Those are the moral implications. Uh, me as fuck. I will comply. I'm counting on you, Gamma. Uh. Oh, fuck. You already getting sad? Eggman's nicer to Gamma in his dialogue too. Fuck. Oh no. This is hard. Yeah. Shit. Oh no. Oh no. God no. Oh no. <laughs> uh. Wow. 
Why don't you eat a cranberry tortilla wrap and maybe you'll calm down. Stop, Mr. Robot! Amy? Hey, Mr. Robot. I know you're not an evil sort. Wait, remember me? I really don't get this. Sonic, look! The apiary is losing altitude! We've got to split! Take Amy and go! What would you do? I'll nail that Eggman! He must be stopped at all costs! <laughs> High drama. Time to nail Eggman. I, I I love how like that that's a very funny line, but it also says like straight up Sonic is willing to kill Eggman right here. Why yeah. You help me? Sonic and Eggman are so vicious to each other in this game. Even Birdie wants the best for you. You must ditch that awful Eggman. Amy, come on! Doink. We'll meet again, my robot friend. Gamma, go get the jet booster. You need it, even though you're a fucking helicopter. <laughs> oh. Here's the fucking part. Dr. Robotnik. Enemy. Master registration. Deleted. E-series. Friends. Must save. Sometimes I wonder, like, if the reason that Omega turned on Robotnik 2 is because something like this happened to him. Like, there was an entire E120 series, but Omega's the only survivor. I mean, that's highly likely, because, like, the only change being that, like, I believe the E120 series doesn't, or at least Omega doesn't have, like, an organic, like, battery. No. Like, the, uh, the other series is due. Which is why Omega doesn't see it fit to sacrifice himself once his mission is complete. The thing about Omega is that he knows he was explicitly made to be the most powerful robot Eggman ever made. But then Eggman just sealed him up. So he's like, fuck you. I'm going to be a badass, even though it means, like, taking my revenge out on you. I fucking love Omega, honestly. Uh, I'm say something. Uh... Speaking of vector traps, I should really play Zone of the Enders and Second Runner on stream. I only played the first game when I was little. Speaking of vector traps, I should play Vector Man again. And actually not suck at it. Oh, 
I find it really interesting that, at least with some of, like, his strongest robots, Eggman also programs them with, like, a semblance of, like, humanity. Like, Gamma and Omega have an extent of, like, feelings and, like, their own conscious thought. Metal Sonic is basically its own being. Metal Sonic, like, straight up is, like, its own thing. I, I think the reason is because, uh, Eggman... Eggman is a person that is strongly motivated. And I think what he believes is for something to be effective, it needs to have motivations of its own. And that's why he doesn't bother giving personality to, like, his mooks, because he doesn't need to. But, like, even that changes because eggpawns. Eggpawns all have very strong personalities. So, like, I think Eggman gives, like, artificial intelligence to his machines that is strong and human-like, so they can form motivations and use those motivations to become stronger and more effective. That would make sense, considering that Eggman also is kind of like a narcissist, so he would be the type to be like, oh, hey, I'm really motivated and I'm pretty awesome. I should give that trait to my robots. Now, see, my theory on why he abandons Omega specifically is because Metal Sonic. Yeah. He realized that giving his robots such strong personalities and such strong arsenals makes them a uh, liability. Because Gamma turns on him, um, uh, Metal Sonic turns on him, and because... I, I, I think eventually Omega would have turned on him too anyway. It was just a matter of time, and Eggman saw that and was like, eh, fuck that. That's also why he only unleashed, like, the shadow androids when he had to in Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah. Because he was like, yeah, these guys are probably going to be a problem, too. I really love Metal Madness, honestly. Like, ugh. Sonic Heroes did Metal Sonic so, so good. Neo Metal Sonic is honestly one of my favorite villains oh, yeah. in the Sonic series. Like, it is my de facto favorite metal version. I, I love how cunning he is. I love how, like, <laughs> mean he is. He's absolutely ruthless and is absolutely able to back it up. Uh-huh. He's the only character in the series that requires... No, okay. Metallic Madness is on the same level as Solaris. In that it is the only... One of the only two characters in the entire series that requires three super forms to beat. Ah, oh, you're right. Metallic Madness is a god-level being. And he did that on his own. He did that on his own. He's just a fucking robot. He's just a robot. He's not a god. He's just a robot that's he's got, like, really good. He's just a robot that was like, hey, I'm going to be strong enough to beat Sonic, and fucking almost did it. Not only did it take three super forms to beat, it took, like, 12 entire characters and three super forms to beat. Mm-hmm. A god-level being with a god-level battle theme. Oh, absolutely. One of made-up slaps. Everybody's like, oh, Live and Learn's the best Sonic boss theme. Fuck you. Fuck you. What I made of is the best. What I made of is the best. complete. Honestly, like, mega real talk. All, all the... Music in Heroes is so good. Simple curiosity. Trying to take a bite of me. Let me show you just what I'm made of. 
for Epsilon. Rescue mission accomplished. E-105 Zeta. E-101 Beta. We're like unknown. a story and a half away. Uh-huh. We might actually beat this before midnight. Probably. Perhaps aboard the egg carrier. God, what happened to ba it, what happened to Zeta is the fucking worst. Ugh. Zeta's is like some like genuine like Junji Ito shit. <laughs> I was gonna say psychological horror, but same thing. Ugh. The train headed to Station Square will be departing soon. series data beginning search thought shelter thought shelter thought shelter accessing data hot shelter e series location confirmed unlocking hot shelter sector now i keep i keep hyping myself up for hot shelter because it's got like one of my favorite like stage musics Woo. yeah yes Ugh. Watching the levels on that was really good, by the way. Ugh. I, I really wish there was a way to capture the audio levels because they were going nuts. <laughs> oh shoot, I didn't see them. Heck. Uh... uh... Gamma, whoa. Uh. Okay. That was not supposed to happen, I don't think. Gamma, Amy, and Big are the ones that go to Hot Shelter, so it definitely is the Thought Shelter. Ugh. Oh, Zeta. Ugh. Good on you, Moki. <laughs> I always- I always feel kind of bad, cause like, you're one of our most consistent, regular, like, viewers, and we make so many fucking goofy and penis jokes. Oh my god, I forgot you could climb ladders! Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby. Sure, use the button if you're a coward. Uh, fat fingers versus tiny fingers. Uh, so Moki versus Cappy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, we have to do this. <laughs> great, great, great! I like to think I have a good sense of, like, what makes good comedy. And I you, you, you... I'm pretty sure I do, but also, like, your mom gay is, like, still absolutely hilarious to me. You, you like to say you know what makes good comedy, and yet you still laugh at everything my dumbass says? <laughs> yeah, exactly! I... I love you, though. You just brighten my life. Your mom gay is a plus 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 comedy. <laughs> you got to shoot. Shoot. You got to snoop this. I think the only, like, poo poo pee pee comedy that I weirdly torn on. Hey, question how the fuck is the egg carry this big? 
Did you see it? Did you, did you see those FMVs? It's fucking huge. Yeah, but you can walk across the entire top deck in like 30 seconds. Well, well, yeah, you're Sonic. You just go fast naturally. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I was gonna say, uh, James Bond sex puns, especially from like the Brosnan era, are like, I don't know how to feel about them. Cause like, fucking, I've seen. Uh, Christmas only comes once a year, in context. Uh, I forgot what the sex pun was in Moonraker, but there was a sex pun in Moonraker about doing it in space. I might run out of time. I haven't been shooting stuff enough. Time to lost colony this shit. Yeah, check that out. <laughs> Damn, not here. We're all scooting around on the ground. Idiots. What was the Nightbot command for that? Was it exclamation point dead? Like D E D? I think it was. Ah, oh, jeez. There we go. Why does he look like he's make out, made out of little dreamcasts? Uh, because that is actually a dreamcast. <gasps> That's right. complete. Press F to pay respects to both the dreamcast and E103 Zeta. <laughs> oh, it's E105. E105. Uh, press F to pay respects to me not being able to count. Press F to pay respects to the fact that Zeta's painted the same colors as, like, Evo 1. <laughs> I only just noticed that. He doesn't have the green. Yeah, it does. E just the eyes. Zeta oh, here's the, here's the rough one. Ugh. Units remaining. Oh shit. Gamma. Beta. Let's do this. Fuck. Uh, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put him on blast, but. Uh, at, at the Sonic sex music earlier, uh, one of my dearest friends says this song is like, his, the music stays on during sex. Which honestly I agree with, this sax is real tasty.
Hey Lexi, uh, we should get matching I love my mommy and <laughs> your child also calls me mommy shirts. <laughs> Beta gets all like zappy and glitched up during the fight too. That's hard. That's harsh, man. That that's a harsh and also Beta is the only good boss in the entire no, game. <laughs> like all the rest of the bosses are jokes, but he's genuinely kind of challenging. All right, everybody, get your tissues ready. Uh, how you use them is up to you. So ends the best story. Present the bear sex. Ugh. Also, can I just say, not only does Gamma get the best story, like, for a character that only shows up in one game, he also has, I think, the best theme song in the Sonic series. Like, period? They don't bother with the lyrics, so you can just take in the ambience. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's also a song that, like, kind of completely sums up his story. It's like, all, all, all the uh, tech sounds mixed with, like, the gentle piano. That somber melody. Un uncertainty in it and also the uh the vocal sample in the background that i believe says do or die oh, anyway wah, 